it going real creators it's boxcar benny here just a quick video here on uh our throttle so right now i'm really into using cell phones and tablets as throttles and i was trying to think of different ways to use our cell phones and, and tablets on our model railroads and one of them a couple things i came up with was uh how i generate trains out of staging uh, so what I want to do is show you that right here. What I initially did was I would just use a set of dice and assign numbers and that would be the car that would link up. But this way, I've got the throttle in my hand, I can just go over to a random number generator app and off you go. So here we go as you can see. So I'm going to give you a little example of how I do this. Um, First of all, we will uh, number our types of cars. You can do whatever you want. You can have different kinds of cars, whatever. What I do, uh, for example, is um, something like this. Number one would be a gondola. Number two would be a hopper. Number three would be a flat car. Number four would be a, a box car. Number five would be a stock car. Number six would be a tank car. Number seven would be a reefer, and number eight would be a boxcar. Again, because I have a lot of industries that take boxcars, so I wanted to give an extra chance to throw a boxcar in there. Now, before we do that, um, we need to decide how many cars are gonna go on our train. So on my layout, uh, let's take the way freight, the uh, northbound way freight, for example, out of staging, it has a maximum of num of uh, 10 cars. So what I'm going to do here is go one for our minimum and 10 for our maximum. Then what I do, I hit it five times to kind of um, uh, randomize it. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the number of cars in our train is going to be five. So there you go, five cars are going to be in our train. <clears throat> now it's time to figure out what cars are going to go in that train. So what we do, like I said before, and as you can see, we've got eight types of cars. So I just do a minimum of one and a maximum of eight. So I hit it again, one, two, three, four, Five. So our first car will be seven. Our first car will be a reefer. Our second car will be a box car. Our third car will be a hopper. Our fourth car will be a box car. Our fifth car will be a stock car. So there you have it. There's a train totally random. Now I'm going to do videos later on on how I do this and how I pull uh, my waybills out to uh, build the train, but this is basically how I generate it. It's a really uh, cool way of doing it. Another thing I thought that would be neat too to do with this is I've always wanted to do a way station. Um, I was going to buy that one that you can buy uh, that's electronic that you screw to your fascia board, but I thought it'd be cool to just do it on here with a throttle. You can have one of the crew, I guess the engineer, type it in or hand it over to the conductor and he can do it. So you let's just make up a number. We'll go with a minimum of 40,000 pounds. And for a max, let's say 58,000 pounds. Okay, you know, make it up. Look at, basically, you could look at the data on the side of your cars, come, come up with an idea, but just like that, very simple, you've got a way station. So what I would do is, um, you know, you could bring the car onto the, the way section and you can have somebody say, okay, it's good to go, or you could have a signal or have, you know, an occupancy thing that lights up a signal to tell you to go ahead, whatever you want to do. But anyways, once again, one, two, three, four, five. What you can do, um, here we go, your first weight, 53,918. Move your next car over, and as you can see right here, here's one of the throttles I've been messing around with, the RT drive by Lens. So move your train over, back here. Okay, get the go ahead to do our next one. Boom, 54,427. And you can make up whatever paperwork you want 
write it down, put it in there, add them up. It can um, give you tonnage. It can decide what you're going to use for locomotives. Uh, use your imagination for this. So anyways, guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in here. I hope you like this little tip and trick that I came up with. We will talk to you soon on the next one. If you like this, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.